FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Wednesday, the 24th of January. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. We're looking at the Dow up 67 after a week session yesterday. Hasn't taken out the 38,109 high that was made three days ago. We're at 37,975. <clears throat> I'm watching this closely. You see this rectangle here on the left side chart, the daily chart. That's the weekly. We broke a little bit above the trend line. Monthly chart, leg C in the Chapman wave. This is going to be very important because if there's a high above 38,109, and in the diamonds above yesterday, above the high of two days ago, that kind of changes things in terms of the notation. But in the meantime, I'm expecting some kind of it's kind of a sideways move here to continue. We're looking at the S&P, <clears throat> slightly different chart. The S&P, if I can type it in the right place, typed it into the den by mistake. <laughs> SPX, oh, there it is. Uh, right in the channel wave inside track repellent zone. A uh, very strong move, all-time high yesterday. Hasn't yet in the cash index made a new high above yesterday's. Uh, what was that? 48.68.41 high. Today's high is 48.93.60. QQQ. Now, of course, Netflix was a huge component. It's just gone to a leg D. And I, I'm telling you that this is a, an important moment just in terms of very short term because I, I think that we're – we're still continuing that, what I call a digestive phase in the Dow, but in the other indexes, you've got your new all-time highs. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't have some kind of a little bit of a digestive phase here. And we'll go through that in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up. But the IWM, the Russell 2000, is up three at 196.04. Oops, 196. Why is it red? Oh, it had a sharp move up, and now it's pulled back. Is that correct? Well, anyway, what it says is 196 and a red candle. Interesting. Gold had a big rally early on, and then it gave back some. I don't know where it is right this moment. It's the GC is trading the continuous contract down. No, it's just unchanged at 2024. Let me just quickly do bonds. Uh, bonds are up about 10, 30 seconds. And crude oil trying to have a rally early on. It's holding and it's put back some. It's only up 30 cents. I have to tell you, it's a very interesting market. My on-balance volume uh, indicators are very overbought in daily and even weekly charts. I'm watching this very closely. Back in a few. See you.